Once you have created your parts in EdgeCam and saved the NC code, you're going to need to load up CNC base. So this is CNC Pro Lite. So go ahead and pause this and load that up. And then you're going to want to open up your code that you've created. So I've already opened up code for bottom of box 2014. So I'm assuming that you now have it open and you have your code ready. And you can see also per the other tutorial that we've deleted these couple lines in here that a tool changes. Um, we need to verify this so we can screenshot it and make sure that it mills okay. So if I click verify and I just click verify, you can see that it does not look the way that you probably want because it's using the block um, that has been preset from some other student. It remembers whoever used it last. So you're going to have to change this every single time um, depending on which computer you use. So let's go up into the verify button. This red button on the top left here, click verify settings and we need to make this the same dimensions that of the wood block we're doing. So the X width was 3.5 inches, Y is 4.5 and it's 3 quarter inches thick. We can leave a Z space of 1, that's fine. All the other numbers can be 0. It will set the origin at the bottom left corner and um, it'll set the tool position at that spot too. It's an absolute coordinate, so we don't need to set this um, to 0.1. Uh, good habit to do it, so I'm going to do it anyway. And now let's verify it. Hey, it looks great now. The only problem is we have the wrong bit in. It's still using a really tiny bit. So you're going to need to set up a new tool. So I'm going to go to Setup Library. Uh, so I'm clicking tool number two, and uh, I, I was trying to click description, and I couldn't because the tool type is undefined. So if I click this, I want this to be an end mill. And I'm going to call this box, or sorry, 0.25 inch box end mill. Because that's the size of the diameter of the bit, so I need to change this to 0.25. Uh, it has two teeth, and it is high strength steel, and that's all we need. So I click apply, and you can see the thickness of that one compared to the engraver. So that'll be tool number two. And we're also going to set up tool number three and that's going to be a ball mill. We'll use this later on and we're going to call this point whoops sorry we're going to call this one 0.25 ball mill and we could call it box ball mill if we want. So 0.25 it's got a rounded it's um, this one has four teeth and we click OK for that one. So the one that we're going to insert for this one is the end mill. The ball mill is for the top curve. That's how you get a nice looking curve. So we'll select that one, we'll insert it, and then when you verify it, blow, it looks fantastic. And that's all you got to do. But don't forget to screenshot this one when you're done.